He was warned of this before, yet you show sympathy to such blatant disregard? Uncle, please. He spent decades bringing monarchia into compliance. I even promised him that I would handle all logistical and economic matters. Damn you, boy. Do you have any idea how far behind he is? And it was all because of this. Because of what we warned him not to do but again. But why must I bring my legion? Let me talk to him. Just us. One on one. I promise I'll help him see the truth. You will do no such thing, Robute. Father, please, I beg of you. I just need ten minutes with him. Save your tongue, my son. Pulling him aside will do nothing. We will all depart for Monarchia, united. He needs a show of force. I agree with your father, boy. This will be a message that he won't soon forget. So, are we going to talk about what happened? This is really fucking awkward, even for me. Please speak to me, Gar. Lorgar, talk to him. Lorgar, please. I need you to understand that I had no choice. It was under Father's orders. Oh? It was under Father's orders? Well then, I suppose it's all right then. I mean, if it was for the goal of hubris and blindsightedness, then surely I must have been in the wrong. You backstabbing fucking bastard. No, hey, whoa, no, none down. of that. <laughs> I'm so glad I joined tonight. You stood by as Monarchia burned. My Monarchia, my perfect city, set ablaze by the words of your mouth and the actions of your sons. Meanwhile, my sons were forced to kneel, forced to watch. Yikes, I picked the wrong time to pop in. We were supposed to be brothers, sons of the same father. Yet you stood there, silent and complicit, as my work was undone as my city was reduced to ashes and my people to despair. Our father, the emperor, he who denies his divinity, yet acted as an old god would. He made us kneel, made us watch the ruination of our labor, our love, his imperial truth, a truth of destruction, of tyranny, of hypocrisy. Be very careful now, Lorgar. We were created to build to guide, to protect, not to destroy, not to subjugate, not to kneel. I can't even imagine what you must be going through. No words can no, express- No, you can't. You have no idea what it's like, Robute. You have no idea what it's like to love our father with total obedience and faith, only to have him spit in your face and leave you burying millions of innocents. You weren't even there after my shaming. I buried so many children, Robute. They were burned to a crisp, and we buried every single one of them. We can't think about every casualty of war, God. Casualty of war? We ha. do what Father wills of us, and we follow his commands to the ends of creation. Are you all so blind, so leashed by that false God, that you can't even think for yourselves? We're nothing but pets to him, and when we bark too loudly, he'll put us in the kennel. Just like the second. Just like the eleven. Thank you, Ferris. I had to, Robote. For his sake and ours. I know.